Hollywood is a fascinating place. It is where dreams are created, superstars are born, and many of today's greatest movies are made. However, on the other hand, it can be a very ruthless place. The movie and television industries are very cutthroat. One wrong move, step or action, can ruin a career in the blink of an eye. Join us as we delve into the stories of a few celebrities who learned this lesson the hard way and vanished from our screens for good. Number 1. Paula Dean. Paula, once a beloved TV personality, saw her career take a major hit amidst allegations of racist behavior. Known for her roles on hit shows like Top Chef, Master Chef, Extreme Makeover, Home Edition, and a part in the 2012 movie Elizabeth Town, Paula found herself embroiled in controversy. It all started when Lisa Jackson, former general manager of Paula's Restaurant in Savannah, Georgia, Uncle Bubba's Seafood and Oyster House, filed a lawsuit against her. Jackson accused Paula of occasionally using racial slurs, including the N-word, in front of her employees. Additionally, Paula suggested the idea of organizing a Southern-themed wedding featuring black men portraying slaves. In response, Paula admitted to using the N-word in the past, attributing it to a changing cultural landscape. She clarified that her family strongly opposed any hurtful associations with the word. Paula defended the concept of a slave wedding, citing inspiration from another restaurant and describing it as beautiful and impressive. However, the fallout was swift. The Food Network decided not to renew Paula's contract, despite her issuing multiple video apologies. Efforts at damage control, including an appearance on Dancing with the Stars, a couple of years later, failed to restore her tarnished public image. In 2015, Paula faced further backlash when she posted and later removed a photo of her son in brownface, adding another layer to the controversies surrounding her. These incidents dealt a severe blow to Paula's once-revered career, with both the public and industry stakeholders distancing themselves from her. The swift repercussions of her actions, along with subsequent missteps, have left a lasting impact on her professional standing and public perception. Number 2. Catherine Heigl. <laughs> Catherine Heigl became a Hollywood star, captivating audiences with her exceptional talent. She shot to fame with her role in Grey's Anatomy in 2005, which quickly propelled her career forward. Within just two years, she secured a significant part in Knocked Up, earning a substantial salary increase and even winning an Emmy, <laughs> an achievement rare among the show's cast. However, Heigl's career took an unexpected turn when she chose to withdraw from Emmy consideration. She cited dissatisfaction with her character's storyline during the fourth season of Grey's Anatomy. This decision stirred controversy and strained relationships on set, eventually leading to her departure from the show. The fallout also impacted her relationship with creator Shonda Rhimes, who imposed strict rules to prevent similar behavior on her subsequent project. Scandal. Facing challenges after leaving Grey's Anatomy, Heigl encountered disappointment with films like New Year's Eve, The Big Wedding. These movies received mixed reviews and failed to make a significant impact at the box office. Expressing her disillusionment in a 2014 interview, Heigl reflected on the unexpected hurdles that contributed to her career downturn. Number three, James Franco. James Franco all but disappeared from the film industry after facing a series of sexual assault allegations. <laughs> Even his longtime collaborator Seth Rogen distanced himself from Franco in the midst of these accusations. Rogen, who had shared the screen with Franco in movies like Pineapple Express, This is the End, and the interview clarified that he hadn't been in touch with Franco and had no intention of doing so. 
Franco's reputation began to crumble back in 2014 when he took a selfie with a seven, eight-year-old girl outside a theater during his Broadway run in Of Mice and Men. After encouraging her to tag him on Instagram, he privately messaged her, suggesting they rent a hotel room. While Franco admitted to the direct messages, he defended himself on Howard Stern's show, asserting that he had behaved respectfully and wasn't actively seeking dates at high schools. In 2018, Franco faced further trouble after winning a Golden Globe for his role in The Disaster Artist. Actress Ali Sheedy, who had previously worked with him in the play The Long Shrift in 2014, posted tweets that some interpreted as suggesting Franco's involvement in sexual harassment or abuse. Another actress, Violet Paley, tweeted about a disturbing assault scenario involving Franco. Despite Franco's denials, Sarah Tither Kaplan, a former student at his Studio 4 film school, along with three other women, accused him of sexual misconduct during an appearance on Stephen Carr's show. Vanity Fair promptly removed Franco from its annual Hollywood issue, and by October 2019, several women mentioned in the report had filed a sexual harassment lawsuit against him. A private settlement was reached in February 2021, with Franco continuing to maintain his innocence. Nevertheless, the fallout from these allegations severely impacted his career, resulting in his removal from numerous Hollywood projects, including those in pre-production. Seth Rogen emphasized that his decision not to collaborate with Franco was deliberate, emphasizing his stance against abuse and harassment. Rogan also expressed remorse for a past joke made on Saturday Night Live and acknowledged that these events had altered the dynamics of his relationship with Franco. Number four, Roseanne Barr. Roseanne Barr's career illustrates the immense impact of a single tweet. Her infamous words, I thought the bitch was white, God damn it, swiftly unraveled a lifetime of achievements. ABC promptly pulled the plug on her sitcom, Roseanne, following a racist tweet directed at Valerie Jarrett, a senior African-American advisor to Barack Obama. Despite her subsequent apology, Channing Dunjay, ABC's entertainment president, condemned the tweet as offensive and contradictory to the network's values. The cancellation was particularly significant given the show's substantial financial success, underscoring the weight of ABC's decision. Initially, Barr attributed her tweet to the sedative Ambien, but she later shifted blame to a critical post by her co-star Sarah Gilbert. Gilbert, who starred alongside Barr in Roseanne and its spin-off The Connors, expressed disappointment in Barr's actions emphasizing that they did not align with the beliefs of the show's cast and crew. Barr bemoaned the lack of accountability, acknowledging the tweet's profound impact on her personal life. Number 5. Bill Cosby Once hailed as America's dad for his wholesome image and starring roles in numerous comedy and drama series, Bill Cosby experienced a dramatic downfall in 2018. Convicted on three counts of aggravated assault, Cosby faced accusations from over 60 women who came forward with detailed accounts of assault. Despite consistent denials from Cosby's legal team, evidence emerged suggesting that he had administered sedatives to young women he sought to engage in physical relationships with. The fallout from these revelations was swift and severe, as Cosby's television and movie career crumbled. TV Land ceased airing reruns of The Cosby Show, and some of his stand-up shows were canceled. His statue at the MGM Hollywood Studios Park in Florida was removed, and several colleges rescinded the honorary degrees they had previously awarded him. Months later, Cosby received a sentence of three to ten years in prison. Although his conviction was overturned on a technicality, leading to his release after serving two years, Industry experts doubt the possibility of a successful comeback. Despite his legal victory, public opinion remains largely unfavorable toward Cosby. Howard Bragman, a renowned PR strategist and crisis manager, emphasized that Cosby's release on a technicality does not equate to innocence. 
Many still view him as guilty of the crimes he was charged with, comparing his situation to that of O.J. Simpson. Industry professionals express skepticism about Cosby's chances of rehabilitation, citing his tarnished reputation as a deterrent for potential collaborators in both personal and professional capacities. The prevailing sentiment is clear. Cosby's tainted image poses a significant obstacle to any potential return to the limelight, with the specter of his past actions likely to haunt him indefinitely. Number 6. T.J. Miller Once celebrated for his roles in the first two Deadpool films, T.J. Miller's career took a downturn following a series of controversies that led to his exclusion from Deadpool 3. Despite his financial success, Miller parted ways with the franchise due to a fallout with lead actor Ryan Reynolds. He openly discussed tensions with Reynolds, citing disagreements over filming techniques. Despite attempts at reconciliation, Miller was ultimately left out of Deadpool 3, marking a significant setback. This incident was just one in a string of controversies that have marred Miller's career. His role as Eric Bachman on the HBO sitcom Silicon Valley ended tumultuously after clashes with the show's leadership. Subsequently, Miller faced legal trouble when he was arrested for making a fake bomb threat on an Amtrak train in December 2018, following an altercation while intoxicated. Moreover, serious allegations of assault and violence surfaced from multiple women, further tarnishing his reputation. These controversies have overshadowed Miller's past successes, impacting both his professional opportunities and public image. Despite his previous achievements, his career has suffered due to these troubling incidents. Number 7. Felicity Huffman Felicity Huffman chose to delay the release of the romantic comedy Otherhood in which she starred alongside Patricia Arquette and Angela Bassett. This decision stemmed from her implication in the largest college admission scandal in national history. It's important to note that the film wasn't canceled, but was eventually released later that year. Netflix opted for this delay following Huffman's public apology and her admission of guilt to fraud related to the U.S. college admission scam. Huffman was among 13 individuals who confessed to bribing to secure spots in prestigious colleges for their children. In her statement, Huffman expressed remorse, acknowledging her guilt and accepting full responsibility for her actions. After spending 11 days of a 14-day federal prison sentence, Huffman was fined $330,000, placed under a year of supervised release and assigned 250 hours of community service. Additionally, being a convicted felon led Huffman to lose what's known in Hollywood as reputational capital. This situation is expected to limit her opportunities and lower her income in future projects. Number 8. Charlie Sheen Charlie Sheen, once earning a staggering $1.8 million per episode for his role in Two and a Half Men, rose to become one of television's highest-paid actors. However, his career took a sharp turn due to a relentless battle with addiction that began in the 1990s. This struggle was punctuated by a series of highly publicized incidents, including cocaine overdoses and assault charges. Despite ongoing struggles with substance abuse and controversies, Sheen's life spiraled further following his 2009 arrest. The following year, production of Two and a Half Men halted as Sheen sought rehabilitation. Despite sincere efforts at recovery, his erratic behavior ultimately led to his dismissal from the show in March 2011. His self-destructive tendencies, combined with derogatory remarks directed at the show's creator, Chuck Lore, likely sealed his fate. Recent reports suggest a positive shift in Sheen's circumstances, with claims of over a year of sobriety and involvement in two television projects. Reflecting on his tumultuous journey, Sheen acknowledged the unconventional path he chose to navigate his challenges in a candid interview. He took responsibility for his actions, admitting to the desperation and immaturity that fueled his behavior. Sheen attributed much of his turmoil to the insidious influence of drugs, compounded by immense stress and a sense of disillusionment. 
Despite the complexities of his past, Sheen's commitment to sobriety signifies a significant step forward in both his personal and professional life. However, whether this will be enough to revive his career remains uncertain, leaving his future prospects hanging in the balance. Number 9. Amanda Bynes Amanda Bynes, once a rising star in entertainment, gained fame through her roles in The Amanda Show and She's the Man. However, she encountered the common challenges that many child stars face. Her struggles with drugs and alcohol were overshadowed by a significant Twitter outburst in 2012. During this time, Bynes made a series of controversial claims on Twitter, including expressing a desire for rapper Drake to harm her. She also targeted Rihanna, questioning her appearance, labeled Miley Cyrus and Jay-Z as ugly, and delivered harsh criticisms about herself. Alongside these online incidents, Bynes set fire to a driveway and her own clothing. Following this tumultuous period, Bynes was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and found herself in a psychiatric facility, effectively halting her career. Concerned for their daughter's well-being, Bynes's parents sought and were granted a conservatorship in 2013. They cited fears that she might pose a danger to herself or others if left in control of her medical care and finances. After a hiatus focused on her mental health, Bynes enrolled at the Los Angeles Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, expressing little interest in returning to acting. In 2022, with signs of improvement in her life, a judge supported by Bynes's parents determined that she was once again capable of making her own medical and financial decisions, lifting the conservatorship. However, later that same year, Bynes reached out to the police, requesting psychiatric care for herself. Since then, she has been residing in an inpatient mental health facility. Number 10. Jared Leto Jared Leto, once a prominent figure in Hollywood during the 1990s and 2000s, has undergone a notable shift in his career path. In 1998, he took a bold step by co-founding the rock band 30 Seconds to Mars with his brother, Shannon. Over time, their music has gained recognition, earning awards, and fostering a devoted global fan base. While Leto's exceptional acting skills were showcased in his Oscar-winning performance in the 2013 film Dallas Buyers Club, his focus has increasingly shifted towards his musical endeavors. The band's 2018 album, America, not only showcased Leto's evolving musical talent, but also secured a prominent spot on the Billboard charts. Their songs, known for their profound lyrical themes, resonate with audiences, drawing crowds to their concerts, such as the 2017 Camp Mars Festival. Beyond music, Leto's interests extend into the business realm. Transitioning from actor to musician, he has diversified his portfolio with investments in prominent tech companies like Slack and Airbnb. As of 2021, these ventures underscore Leto's versatility and capability to excel in diverse fields. While Leto's involvement in major film projects has declined in recent years, with his most notable recent appearance in The Little Things, his influence remains palpable through his music and business ventures. Overall, Leto's multifaceted career continues to evolve, demonstrating his adaptability across various domains. Number 11. Kat Dennings Kat Dennings is widely known for her dynamic on-screen presence since her teenage years. She skyrocketed to fame as Max Black in CBS's Two Broke Girls, where her sharp-witted portrayal of the diner waitress charmed audiences throughout the sitcom's six-year run. This role solidified Denning's popularity in pop culture. Additionally, her high-profile relationship with musician Josh Groban further propelled her into the public eye. However, following this successful period, Denning seemed to take a step back from the Hollywood spotlight. The reasons behind her decreased visibility are multifaceted. Firstly, her lucrative lead role on Two Broke Girls not only brought her a substantial weekly paycheck, but also secured her a share in the considerable financial gains from syndication deals. 
The show's success led to a syndication deal with TBS, valuing each episode at $1.7 million. With a total of 138 episodes, this financial windfall ensures Dennings continues to reap the benefits, even in her absence from recent projects. Another factor contributing to Dennings' reduced visibility is her role in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. While she portrayed Darcy Lewis in Thor and Thor The Dark World, her character was notably absent in subsequent MCU films, suggesting a potential conclusion to her involvement in the franchise. Furthermore, Dennings went through a publicized breakup with Josh Groban in 2016, just before the final season of Two Broke Girls. Although described as mutual and amicable, such personal life events can influence an actor's career trajectory. Looking ahead, Dennings might be poised for a potential comeback with the Hulu pilot Dollface. The show delves into themes of comebacks, featuring Dennings as a woman navigating friendships after a significant breakup. With the involvement of notable producers and a promising concept, Dollface may signify Dennings' return to some form of television prominence. Number 12. Kevin Spacey During his trial at Southwark Crown Court in London, Kevin Spacey's defense lawyer argued that the actor faced widespread condemnation and a trial by social media when initial allegations surfaced. Once a prominent figure in Hollywood, Spacey swiftly disappeared from the public eye. He was promptly replaced in Ridley Scott's All the Money in the World, released in December 2017, with Christopher Plummer reshooting his scenes as billionaire John Paul Getty. Additionally, Spacey was removed from his Golden Globe-winning role in the Netflix series House of Cards. The allegations against Spacey involving sexual assault resulted in him and his production companies being ordered to pay $31 million to compensate for losses incurred due to his dismissal. Separate criminal charges in Los Angeles and Massachusetts were dropped in 2018 and 2019, respectively. However, Spacey faced another civil trial in New York in 2022, where he was found not liable. Recently, jurors in the UK cleared him of all criminal charges related to allegations by four men who claimed the star sexually assaulted them between 2001 and 2013. The court heard that the allegations by one man were deemed unfounded, with Spacey having consensual sexual encounters with two others. Although he admitted to making a clumsy pass at a fourth man, Spacey claimed that the incident did not escalate further. While a return to stardom for Spacey seems unlikely, there remains a glimmer of hope for the actor. Number 13. Michael Richards Michael Richards, best known as Kramer from Seinfeld, faced a rapid downfall in his career that unfolded in just three minutes. A regrettable turn for the actor whose portrayal of Cosmo Kramer remains iconic. While his Seinfeld co-stars found success in their post-Seinfeld endeavors, Richards encountered a significant setback from which he never truly recovered. Following Seinfeld, Richards returned to stand-up comedy, hoping to leverage the show's popularity. However, his career took a disastrous turn when a video emerged showing him berating a black audience member using multiple racial slurs. In this shocking three-minute clip, Richards directed offensive remarks towards an audience member, even making explicit references to a dark period in history. Despite issuing apologies and making appearances on late-night shows like The Late Show with David Letterman to extend his regrets and reconnect with the lost fan base, Richards struggled to mend the damage. He also reached out to prominent black figures such as Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson to express his remorse, but the harm had already been done. Despite making a few TV appearances and cameos, Richards' career never fully bounced back from the incident. Number 14. Shelley Duvall Shelley Duvall, the captivating actress known for her unforgettable presence on screen, once mesmerized audiences with her unique charisma and undeniable talent. Her haunting portrayal of Wendy Torrance in the iconic horror film The Shining remains vivid in our memories. 
characterized by her expressive eyes and delicate beauty. Throughout the 1970s and 80s, Duval's career was adorned with a variety of memorable roles, from her delightful performance as Olive Oil in Popeye to her captivating appearances in Time Bandits. Her ability to infuse raw emotion into her characters resonated deeply with viewers, establishing her as a standout figure in the entertainment realm. However, as the 1990s approached, Duval's on-screen presence gradually diminished, not due to a decline in talent, but rather a deliberate choice to step away from the demanding nature of Hollywood. At the peak of her success, Duval courageously prioritized her mental well-being over the pressures of fame. Today, she resides in rural Texas, embracing a quieter and more secluded lifestyle far from the glitz and glamour of the industry. Number 15. Monique. Comedian Monique's Oscar win in 2009 for her role in Precious appeared to herald the beginning of a promising career. However, once she left the stage, a five-year hiatus from significant roles ensued. Her next notable appearance came in the 2014 independent film Blackbird, alongside Isaiah Washington, another Hollywood figure who experienced a rapid career downfall. In a 2015 interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Monique revealed that director Lee Daniels had informed her a few months prior that she had been blacklisted due to her husband's salary negotiation tactics. Publicly criticizing Daniels, Monique accused him of orchestrating her career downfall because she failed to thank him in her Oscar acceptance speech. However, these revelations did little to restore Monique's standing in Hollywood, especially given her subsequent conflicts with Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey, whom she accused of conspiring against her. In 2018, Monique further stirred controversy by accusing Netflix of discrimination when she was offered $500,000 for her comedy special, while other prominent comedians received multi-million dollar deals. Although Netflix settled a lawsuit with Monique, they chose to cease further negotiations. Addressing the situation on Sway in the Morning in January 2018, Monique stood her ground, stating, I couldn't accept that low offer, because if I did, I couldn't sleep at night. She questioned the fairness of the offer compared to deals for other black female comedians, such as Tiffany Haddish. In response, Netflix issued a statement asserting the fairness of their initial offer and expressing their intent to contest the lawsuit. Number 16. Jessica Lange. Jessica Lange, a highly regarded actress known for her captivating performances, has made a lasting impact on both the silver screen and the stage. Her acclaimed roles in films like Tootsie and Blue Sky earned her two Academy Awards, showcasing her remarkable versatility in the craft. In addition to her cinematic triumphs, Lange has excelled on Broadway, securing three Tony Awards, which underscore her talent in live theater. In recent years, Lang has deliberately steered her career, opting for roles that resonate with her passion for storytelling rather than chasing Hollywood fame. Her decision to take on a significant role in the anthology series American Horror Story in 2011 demonstrated her adaptability captivating a new audience with her portrayal of complex characters. This venture garnered critical acclaim and earned her two Primetime Emmy Awards, solidifying her reputation as a multifaceted talent. However, acting is not Lange's sole talent. She is also a skilled photographer with several published books that showcase her ability to capture meaningful moments. Today, Lang selects projects that deeply resonate with her, prioritizing artistic fulfillment over celebrity status. Number 17. Meg Ryan Meg Ryan, the beloved actress known for her captivating performances, has left an unforgettable impression on the silver screen. She truly sparkled alongside Tom Hanks in timeless classics like Sleepless in Seattle and You've Got Mail, defining an era of romantic comedies in the 1990s. Their on-screen chemistry remains unparalleled, cementing these films as icons that transcend time. However, 
Meg Ryan's talent stretched far beyond the realm of rom-coms. Her compelling roles in Courage Under Fire and When a Man Loves a Woman showcased her remarkable acting prowess, effortlessly balancing charm with powerful dramatic performances. Ryan's versatility in the industry was undeniable. In more recent years, Meg Ryan has delved into directing with projects like Ithaca, while also embracing motherhood and exploring diverse creative pursuits. Though her appearances on screen have become less frequent, she has found happiness beyond acting. Yet her influence on romantic comedies remains, indelible as she gracefully steps away from the spotlight. Meg Ryan's legacy endures, her name synonymous with a golden era of heartfelt cinema that continues to capture hearts with every role she inhabited. Her journey as a talented actress continues to inspire, leaving a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. Number 18. Brendan Fraser Brendan Fraser soared to stardom in the late 90s and early 2000s, gracing the screens in hit films like Bedazzled and The Mummy. However, as the 2000s progressed, his presence in films became less frequent. Fraser attributes this decline to an encounter with the former president of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. In 2003, Fraser alleges that he was sexually assaulted by Philip Burke at the Beverly Hills Hotel. He claims that his resistance to Burke's advances led to his being shunned by the HFPA, resulting in rare invitations to the Golden Globes ever since. Burke, however, denies Fraser's account, stating in his 2014 memoir that the incident was a harmless joke. While Fraser acknowledges that other factors may have contributed to his dwindling opportunities in Hollywood, he believes that his encounter with Burke played a significant role. Reflecting on the decline in his career, Fraser remarks, The phone does stop ringing, and you start asking yourself why. There are many reasons, but was this one of them? I think it was. Number 19. Stacy Dash. Stacy Dash, known for her roles in Clueless and as a host on the Fox News show Outnumbered, has gained notoriety in recent years, primarily due to her controversial views. While she initially supported Barack Obama in 2008, she underwent a notable shift towards conservatism sometime between 2008 and 2012. Dash became increasingly vocal about her conservative beliefs, attracting attention for her provocative statements. Although there's nothing inherently wrong with holding conservative views, Dash's actions, such as advocating for the abolition of Black History Month, which led to her dismissal from Fox, have stirred controversy. In 2016, she further fueled controversy with remarks about transgender individuals aligning herself against the typically liberal philosophies prevalent in Hollywood. Her outspokenness and extreme beliefs, coupled with her inability to temper them, likely contributed to her dwindling opportunities for significant roles in the industry. Number 20. Sandra Locke While it's an older case compared to others mentioned here, there's no denying that Sandra Locke faced a significant period of being blacklisted. Locke burst onto the film scene in the late 1960s and received a Best Supporting Actress Oscar nomination for her debut role in The Heart is a Lonely Hunter. She continued to impress in numerous films and showcased her talents as a director as well. During her long-term relationship with Clint Eastwood, which ended in a messy breakup in 1989, Locke found herself sidelined by many Hollywood studios. It's widely believed that Eastwood, leveraging his considerable influence, played a role in her exclusion. This unfortunate situation persisted for about a decade, and even upon her eventual return to work, Locke's career never fully recovered its former glory. As we reflect on the journeys of these once prominent actors who have seemingly disappeared from the limelight, it begs the question, what factors contribute to the rise and fall of stars in Hollywood, and how do personal beliefs and controversies impact their careers? We'd love to hear your thoughts and insights in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more captivating content exploring the enigmatic world of entertainment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.